of the last four rounds of the minor round, we have six players that will not feature for the rest of the year, namely Dane McFarlane, Charlie Blair and Jack Weir, who've all had ACL reconstructions, Riley Knight and Kai Pudney with ankle surgery, and Deacon Jackson with a shoulder that requires reconstructive surgery. These six injuries have accounted for nearly half of our games missed through injury this year, indicating the impact that long-term injuries have had on availability this season. On a brighter note, having spent the majority of the pre-season in the first 14 rounds on the sidelines with a troublesome ITB friction syndrome in his knee, young ruckman Zach Phillips should resume this weekend against Sturt. He has been training fully for a few weeks and progressed well over the past couple of months. Clay Cameron should also resume after a couple of weeks out with a back complaint. He suffered a minor fracture in his spine against South Adelaide. He has been training fully for the past week and should return against Sturt this weekend. Paddy Wecker suffered a corked thigh against Norwood in round 13. He missed last week's reserves match against Sturt but should return this weekend also against Sturt. Rory Lehman rolled his ankle against South Adelaide. He required a period of offloading to allow the ankle to settle and has recently resumed running. He'll look to build up his training next week and then train fully the week leading into North Adelaide and play in round 16. Jesse Lonigan sustained a minor hamstring strain against Norwood. He missed the round 14 game against Adelaide and will also miss this weekend against Sturt. He will progress his running over the next week or so and train the week leading into the North Adelaide match in round 16. Sam Tilley had an abdominal wall strain against Centrals in round 12. This required a week or two of no running and he will resume running this week, build up over the bye week and then look to resume against North Adelaide all going well.